Shut up. I gotta go. I gotta see my house. Shut up. has me now. Listen still time. Me, Let me go. Hey, listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. I saw a man in Wesley. You do that to you? I got careless. Listen. I know it's because of me, and I'm sorry. But I cannot talk to you right now. I have to see Star before Dad takes away. You're not thinking straight. He's not going to let you anywhere near her. Well, then I'll figure something out. I'll sneak in. Are you going to sneak in? Let me tell you something. You got caught again. You deserve what you got coming to you. All right, got Then what am I supposed to do, huh? Son, what would you do? I, if you thought you were never going to see the girl you loved again, what would you do, huh? Tell me. I don't know. I know I made a lot of mistakes in this life. And a lot of people I cared about suffered because of it. Talking about my mom? And you. Star, maybe you and Cole need a cooling off period. There's no time for that, Aunt Dorian. I need to see him now. Just please, could you let me borrow your phone? Honey, after what happened last night? Nothing happened. Nothing could have happened because my dad ruined and humiliated us. Okay. Well, he certainly uh, may have reacted inappropriately, but I gotta tell you, being honest, I'm relieved to hear that he got there uh, before things went any further. And now he ruined everything and that he almost killed my boyfriend? Honestly, you're too young to be intimate physically intimate with anybody at your age you're just not ready and it would have been a huge mistake well i don't get it i thought you hated my dad well i'm not one of his biggest fans then why are you taking his side i'm on your side your happiness is my only concern then you will help me see cold that is what will make me happy and dorian i need you now more than i have ever needed you Blair, we've been over this and over this. Why can't you understand why we're moving? I understand why you think we should move. And I think I told you from the beginning that I thought it was a stupid idea. But after your behavior last night, it's beyond stupid. Yet you still want to move us to Hawaii. So, what would you prefer? To stay here in Landview and let Star date Cole? After what he did to her last night? She was forced to do something she did not want to do. Because of you, Todd. Not Cole. She was with him that way because you told her that you were going to take her away from him. So you made all that happen. This is the best thing for our family. Now, you and I should have seen this coming. Oh. We wouldn't have to be moving to Hawaii if we had seen this coming. He did it to her once before. All that crap about Roy Rage, boy. Oh, okay, yo, yo, wait, just, that's that enough, Todd. I felt sorry for him because of Marty. Jeez. I should have never let my guard down. He sure paid us back. Right, our daughter. That is not what happened. And don't say it again, because this is nothing like what you did to Marty. That's nice. So you think I'm more of a little life than Cole? I mean, he's no worse than his bastard father. Hey, you wouldn't get that, though, would you? What I get and what I see is you making a very tragic mistake here. I am taking Star and you and Jack and Sam to Hawaii. So I want you to go upstairs and pack whatever you need for the next few days. The rest of it will come in a couple weeks. You can go to Hawaii. You and Sam. I can't stop you from taking that little boy and destroying his life, but you're not taking Jack. You're not taking Star, and I'm not going with you. So you're threatening to break up the family, Sam? Huh? God, no. If you, if you force Star to move with us to Hawaii, she's going to hate us both. And when she's 18, she's going to be out of here. But you don't really know how it's going to play out. She loves Cole. <laughs> She's just too young to know what that word means. Really? Well, she feels it, Todd. It's really big. That first love thing is it's, it's an overwhelming emotion. Some people 
even marry their first loves. She hates me already. It won't matter if we move. What are you talking about, Todd? You can stay here. You can work things out. You can make things right. You can do that. Even if we don't move, she's never going to see that punk again. Oh, and we both know how that works. We're just going to push them closer together. Are you saying that you're okay with them sleeping together? They didn't sleep together. Really? Yeah. Well, they were naked and in bed. I don't know what else that would be. I don't know what you saw. I know what I saw. And they're too young to be doing what they were doing. They may have been young, but they were in love. No, you're wrong about that. And what they were doing was wrong. And therefore, it will never happen again. I won't let it happen again. I swore from the minute I saw Star that I would protect her with my life. And if you won't support me in moving the family away, you will support me in that. Hey, you. I'm glad you're here. You want something to eat? No, I, I just came to be with you. To get out of that house. Mr. Manning didn't do anything to you, did he? Well, he's just a real jerk. Kind of creeped me out. Fine. I'm worried you're not safe there. I'm fine. Brian's not going to let anything happen to me. And plus, the Mannings are all moving today. Too bad Mr. Manning can't just go to Hawaii by himself. I wish. Marco, Cole's not the only one losing star. We are too. I'm just so glad I have you. I don't know what I'd do without you. I'm not going anywhere. I promise. Yeah, I've done some pretty stupid things in the past, but last night wasn't like that. So star and I, we just want to spend some time together before she leaves. And it was great. I mean, I realized how much she really gets me. And everything that I was going through, it's like, it's like she felt what I was feeling, you know what I mean? You got a pretty good idea. John, we both love each other. Just like my parents did. And she doesn't judge me. When I shot Miles, all she cared about was helping me. And I feel the same way about her. And that's why I want to help her now. And I will. He's entering. You have to help me. Already gave you it'll help. be just like Romeo and Juliet, where the nurse helps them both out. Oh, yes. Yeah, so and that Only it'll ending. be a better ending, okay? Please, you said that you were on my side. I am. And that's why I can't help you see Cole. That makes no sense to me. Your father and I agree on absolutely nothing, all right? But we both... We both love you and care for you very much. Then why don't you guys want me to be happy? Speaking for myself, I have to say, I honestly believe that you're in over your head. I'm sorry. I know this is painful for you. Nobody understands that if I don't see Cole, my life is over.